The High Mobility Artillery Rocket System HIMARS and India's Panaka Multi-Barrel Rocket Launcher, both are advanced rocket artillery systems. These systems offer several advantages over traditional howitzers. MBRS deliver more firepower rapidly, making them highly effective for area denial and suppression, preventing enemy movements. Their longer range compared to howitzers provides operational flexibility, enabling strikes deep within enemy territory without immediate retaliation. These factors make MBRS a versatile and potent component of modern artillery arsenals. And today we will compare these two systems. US's HIMARS and India's Panaka. HIMARS, developed by Lockheed Martin, is a highly mobile rocket launcher mounted on a truck. It can quickly move to different locations and fire a variety of rockets with high precision. HIMARS is used by the US military to strike targets at long distances, disrupting enemy operations and providing support to ground forces. On the other hand, Panaka, developed by India's Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, is a similar system used by the Indian Army. It is mounted on a heavy truck and can fire multiple rockets in a short time. Panaka is designed to deliver a large volume of explosive firepower over a wide area, making it effective for neutralizing enemy forces and fortifications. First of all, let's talk about their range and firepower. HIMARS uses several types of rockets, including the GMLRS and ATACMS. The GMLRS is a guided rocket that can reach up to 70 kilometers and has an explosive warhead designed for precision targeting. The ATACMS missile can reach up to 300 kilometers and carries a large payload, capable of striking deep into enemy territory. These rockets are equipped with GPS guidance systems, ensuring high accuracy and effectiveness. The Panaka system also uses various types of rockets. The Panaka Mark I rockets have a range of 40 kilometers, while the Mark II can reach 70 to 80 kilometers, and the Mark III can go up to 120 kilometers. The Panaka rockets can carry different types of warheads, including high explosive and fragmentation types. The guided versions of Panaka rockets have improved accuracy and range, thanks to advanced guidance systems developed in collaboration with Israel. HIMARS leads in rocket range and precision, while Panaka leads in firepower volume. In terms of launch capability, HIMARS can fire six rockets in a single salvo. The system's rate of fire allows it to launch these rockets in just over a minute, providing a quick and concentrated burst of firepower. The Panaka system, on the other hand, can fire 12 rockets in a single salvo, delivering a rapid and overwhelming volume of firepower in just 44 seconds. This high rate of fire makes Panaka highly effective for saturation attacks and area bombardment. In this section, Panaka leads in launch capability and rate of fire. HIMARS launchers are mounted on a 5-ton truck, specifically the family of medium tactical vehicles 6 into 6 chassis. This configuration provides high mobility and allows the system to be transported by C-130 aircraft. The mobility of the HIMARS platform makes it suitable for rapid deployment and quick relocation. The Panaka launchers, on the other hand, are mounted on Tatra or Tata trucks. These heavier vehicles provide stability and support for the high-volume firepower of the Panaka system but can limit its rapid transportability compared to the lighter HIMARS platform. While the Panaka system is designed for quick relocation, its heavier platform may require more time and resources for redeployment, potentially making it more vulnerable during movements. HIMARS leads in terms of platform mobility. Regarding integration with other military units on the battlefield, HIMARS can be easily integrated with artillery units and air support due to its advanced communication and targeting systems. It can receive target data from command and control centers, unmanned aerial vehicles, and reconnaissance units, allowing for precise and coordinated strikes. The Panaka system also integrates well with other military units. It can work in conjunction with artillery batteries, providing overwhelming firepower to support infantry and armored units. Panaka can also be coordinated with air support, where its rockets can be used to soften enemy defenses before an aerial assault. HIMARS leads in terms of integration flexibility and rapid response. In terms of acquisition and operational costs, HIMARS tends to be more expensive both to purchase and maintain. Each HIMARS launcher system costs approximately $5 million, and the rockets and missiles it uses, such as the ATACMS, can be quite costly. 
Maintenance costs are also high due to the sophisticated technology and the need for regular updates and repairs to ensure precision and functionality. In contrast, the Panaka system is generally less expensive. The indigenous production of the Panaka system in India helps keep costs down. Each Panaka launcher system costs around $2 million, and the cost of the rockets is relatively lower compared to those used by HIMARS. This makes Panaka a cost-effective solution for the Indian military. Balancing capability with affordability. Panaka leads in terms of cost-effectiveness. As of now, over 540 units of HIMARS have been produced. The US military currently operates the majority of these units, and HIMARS has been exported to several allied countries, including Jordan, Singapore, and the United Arab Emirates. The system is continually upgraded, with production rates increasing to meet global demand, reflecting its effectiveness and popularity. For Panaka, the Indian Army has inducted several hundred units, primarily used within India. Although specific export numbers are not widely documented, the Panaka system has attracted international interest, with ongoing efforts to promote it for export to various countries. Although it has not yet been as widely exported as HIMARS, HIMARS leads in global deployment and export. Both systems have their own strengths and are designed to meet different operational needs. HIMARS offers greater range and precision, with the ability to launch a variety of guided rockets. On the other hand, Panaka excels in delivering rapid, high-volume firepower, making it highly effective for area denial and saturation bombardment. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.